Hello, I'm Angela Woodhouse, Head of Policy, Communications and Governance at Mason Borough Council. This video is for you as a candidate or agent to tell you a bit more about the local elections coming up. We want to tell you about who's who, key roles and responsibilities, what to expect in polling and what to expect on the count itself. This briefing will cover some key information you need to be aware of including who's who, key dates, access to the register and registration, Code of Conduct for Campaigners, The Poll, The Count, Candidate Spending and Key Contacts. Who's Who? Alison Broom is both the Returning Officer and Electoral Registration Officer for the local elections. She has ultimate responsibility for running the elections and maintaining the Electoral Register and Absent Voters List. Key Dates Obviously, some of the dates on this timetable have now passed. I will highlight some dates, though, that you need to be aware of. Polling day for 2019 is on Thursday, the 2nd of May, from 7am to 10pm. If an elector falls ill or where their occupation, service or employment means that they cannot get to the polling station in person, they can apply for an emergency proxy vote, which must be received by 5pm on polling day. Election expenses must be returned by the 7th of June. Access to the Electoral Register Once you've officially become a candidate, you're entitled to receive a free copy of the full Electoral Register and the lists of people voting by post or proxy, the absent voters list for the ward you are contesting. You can only use the Electoral Register for permitted purposes, which are to complete the nomination form, to help you campaign, to check that donations, loans are permissible. Any person who is found to be breaching the restrictions on the use of the electoral register could face a fine. Once you no longer need the register and lists of absent votes for any electoral purpose, you should securely destroy any copies supplied to you as a candidate in accordance with the Information Commissioner's Guide. Campaigning do's and don'ts. Do use imprints on all printed material. Such as leaflets and posters, you must include the name and address of the printer and the promoter. Do comply with planning rules relating to advertising hoardings and large banners. Do make sure posters are removed two weeks after the election. Do not produce material that looks like a poll card. Do not pay people to display your adverts unless they display adverts as part of normal business. For further guidance, please look at the Electoral Commission's website and their guidance on campaigning. Code of Conduct for Campaigning The Code of Conduct for Campaigning can be found on the Commission's website. Campaigners are an essential part of a healthy democracy, but their activities should not bring into question the integrity of the electoral process. The Code covers all those actively involved in campaigning in elections on referendums in Great Britain. Candidates and agents should remember that if they have complaints or allegations of electoral fraud, they should be prepared to give the police a statement and substantiate any allegations. During the campaign, you must not knowingly make a false statement about the personal character of a candidate or pay canvassers. These offences would be dealt with by the police and any complaints should be made to them. Postal ballot packs. Never touch a postal ballot paper. Never watch electors completing their postal vote. Never handle or take any completed ballot paper or postal ballot pack from voters. Tellers. Tellers have no legal status and voters have the right to refuse to give them any information. Tellers must always remain outside the polling station they can approach voters for information as they enter or leave the polling station. Tellers must not be able to see or hear what is happening inside the polling station, demand any information from voters, have discussions with voters that may arise to allegations or undue influence, display any campaign material other than a rosette or badge. Campaigning outside polling stations. You are allowed to put your messages to voters on polling day including public spaces outside polling places. 
Please keep access to polling places and the pavements around polling places clear to allow voters to enter. Polling Day Polling stations are open from 7am until 10pm on Thursday the 2nd of May. The Electoral Services Office is open from 6.30am to 10pm for queries or problems relating to the administration of the election. Please be aware that whilst you may campaign on polling day, you cannot do this in a building or area that has been hired as a polling station. The Count The Count will be held on Friday the 3rd of May at the Maidstone Exhibition Hall, Kent County Showground, Detling. The Count Centre will be open to candidates and agents from 9.45am and the Count will begin at 10am. There are two stages to the Count. Stage 1 is to verify the number of ballot papers in each ballot box. Votes will be counted by box into 25s and then 100s face up. The second stage will be to sort by candidate counted by ward. All wards will be clearly labelled at the count and a count plan will be available on the day. All results will be discussed prior to the announcement with the respective candidates for each ward by the electoral returning officer Alison Broom. Results will be announced on stage in the order they are reached. We do not allow people to take pictures in the venue near to where the votes are being counted. Candidates, election agents, counting agents and one other person appointed by the candidate are entitled to attend the count. If you have not registered to attend, you will not be allowed into the count. Mark Green will be acting as Count Liaison Officer on the day and will be available to answer questions about the count. Electoral Registration and Absent Vote Applications Ensure forms fully conform to the requirements of electoral law. Ensure unaltered applications are sent to ERO within two working days. Make sure electors understand implications of applying for an absent vote. Do not encourage postal ballot pack redirection. Do not encourage electors to appoint a campaigner as proxy. Candidate spending. Expenses are defined as certain expenses used for the purposes of the candidate selection during the regulated period. The limit on expenses is £740 plus 6 pence per elector in the ward register as of the 1st of March 2018. You must have receipts for anything over £20. The election agent is responsible in law for the return, but the candidate must also submit a declaration that the return is correct and therefore should also know the rules. No money spent on your campaign can be reclaimed. The rules simply restrict how much you can spend. Returns are due 35 calendar days after the result declaration. Failure to submit a spending return is a criminal offence. Key contacts. If you would like any further information, please don't hesitate to contact the Maidstone Borough Council Elections Office on 01622 602 007. Or you can contact the Electoral Commission on 0333 103 1928. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you have all the information and details you now need. Please do not hesitate to contact us if you need anything further.